Now for this next part, we're told that a second boat Q is also moving with a constant velocity. And at time t hours, the position vector of Q is given by this vector Q kilometers, where Q equals 18i plus 12j minus 6 times 6i plus 8j. And we've got to find the value of t when p is due west of Q. Now, I'd want to add this position vector of Q to my diagram. But when I look at this question here, what we're given here as a vector, it strikes me as being a bit unusual. It's unusual because we've got a minus here, and normally we have a plus. Remember, the position vector of a point after time t seconds, or time t anyway, is equal to its position vector at time t equals 0, plus t times the velocity vector. So I'm going to want to change this into a plus first of all, so I can appreciate what the problem's telling me. So we'll start with the first vector, 18i um, plus 12j, and then we need to modify this. We'll turn it to a plus, so instead of having minus t times 6, which will give us minus 6t in the i direction, we just have to do plus t times minus 6 in the i direction, so that will give us the minus 6t. And similarly, I can just put that as minus 8j, we'll just underline those vectors there. So now I've got it in the correct format. So we can now say that at time t equals 0, q is at this position vector here. So from the origin, we've got to go 18 units across, 12 units up. And that's going to take me to a point, say, there. We'll call this then, with coordinates, 18, 12. OK, so the position vector of where it started from here to here would be this vector. And this happened at t equals 0. Q was at that point there. Now it was moving with this velocity, a vector minus 6i minus 8j. So that would be 6 units to the left, 8 units down. So we can put that vector in. So in every one hour, q will move this amount of distance in that direction. So after one hour, it will be here. The vector q would be from here out to that point. Two hours later, Q would have gone from here, down to there, down to here. So the vector Q would be from there to there. Q would be following a path down like that. Let's just put that path in. So, we've got to find the value of T when P is due west of Q. Now when P is due west of Q, it would be a point, say, something like this. P would be here, and Q would be about here. Let's just mark in those vectors. Look, let's just say put that as the vector P, and this other one as the vector Q. And so, what time would that be? Well, it looks like it'll be just over an hour. P would have moved in just over an hour to there. Q would have moved in just over an hour to about there. And what I notice is that, OK, their I components will be different, but their J components will be exactly the same. You can see that they'll be on the same horizontal line. So that's how we're going to approach this problem. So let's just put an intro here that when P is due west of Q, west of Q, the J components are exactly the same. So in other words, for P, when it comes to the J components, we've got minus 8 there for that J, and we've got plus 8T. So, plus 8t, and that will equal the j components for q. And so we've got 12 here, 12j, and here we've got minus 8t in the j direction. So, minus 8t in the j direction. So, it's a simple case of just solving this for t. 
So if we were to add 8t to both sides and add 8 to both sides, we'd have 8t plus another 8t, so it's going to be 16t, and we'd have 12 plus this 8. So that's going to give me 20. So if I divide both sides by 16, t equals 20 over 16, and that cancels down to 5 over 4. Or 5 divided by 4 is 1 and a quarter, 1 and a quarter hours. That's when P is due west of Q. And you can see now from the diagram, I know it's not drawn exactly accurate, but hopefully you can see that in one hour, P would have traveled to that point there. And if I did a quarter of an hour extra, we would cover a quarter of this distance. So you can imagine that just added on to the end there. It's a bit out of uh, scale, but uh, hopefully that gives you an idea. And the same applies for Q. One hour, it would be here, and then after a further quarter of an hour, it would have travelled quarter this distance in that direction. So you can see, just add it on to there. Okay, so I hope that's given you some idea over this part of the question then.